I want you guys to understand what I mean when I say ninaamini itabadilika. In short, I believe it will change. I'm actually serious when I say I believe in change and I believe that Kenya will change. I know most of you have lost hope. Wengi wenu mmetafuta kazi amjawai kupata. Wengine mmefunga biashara zenu. Wengine mmepoteza mali yenu. You've lost your plots. You've lost your pickup. Ile vitu ulitengeneza yote imepotea. And so most of you don't have hope that uh, there is anything that will happen in Kenya because <clears throat> of how things are going. You know, we we have an, a president that owns parliament and we should be worried that the president was able to pass that motion by 281 MPs. It shows that anaweza pitisha kitu yote including a state of emergency. So it means anything he wants can pass through parliament with an overwhelming majority and that's a very dangerous thing kwa sababu inamaanisha there are no checks and balances. Um, most of you have given up hope because even uh, when you look at some of the decisions that come from our court, unapata some of the decisions are actually rolling us backwards. Um, but why do I believe that Kenya will change? Mimi ninaamini itabadilika. Ninaamini itabadilika because Kenyans have started changing. You know, the biggest problem has always been the citizens. Shida ambayo imekuanga Kenya sio viongozi. Ni wa Kenya wenyewe. Wa Kenya wenyewe kwa sababu ya ukabila kusema huyu ni mtu wetu. Eh, huyu ni mtu wa kabila yetu ye yeah, ni atatusaidia. Lakini wa Kenya wengi if you look even at uh, the random views from public participation most of the people they have gotten over tribalism. And most are coming out of tribalism. The other thing is uh, most Kenyans wamefika mahali yenye saa hii itakuwa ngumu sana to bribe them during ele elections. They have seen how much pain bribery causes to them. Mtu anawanunulia leso, anawapea mwavuli. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they've started seeing how 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 it is affecting their life. How we get bad leadership. Mimi chenye naweza waambia from where I am in uh, my, you know, rest and holiday, this is what I can tell you. Bad leaders come from bad citizens. Na mpaka sisi wenyewe tubadilishe vile tunafanya vitu vietu, we will not, um, will not see change. Well, Bosco Amethika. Hello, say hi to Kenyans. <laughs> say hello. Say my hello. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> bad leaders come from bad Kama wewe ni mtu unauza maziwa na unaweka maji kwa maziwa ili maziwa ikue mingi. Inamaanisha kwamba ukipewa UMCA you will become um, a bigger chief. Kama wewe ni conductor wa matatu na mtu anakupatia thao unamwambia umenipea mia because utaki kurudisha change ama kama we una uzanga tv fake luthuli na unasema hii ni original na unajua ni fake it means ukifanya biashara yako ya kuuza electronics na upate pesa na wende usimame kiti ya ubunge it means we are expecting a very corrupt member of parliament if you are an employee umeandikwa na kampuni na unaibia kampuni you are you are already stealing from your employer um, na, <coughs> it, it actually shows that if you are given leadership hata wewe utakuwa even more corrupt kama wewe ni mwalimu na unakula pesa za remedio um, ama principal unakula pesa za remedio ulipi walimu or um, kama wewe ni mtu wa kuuza nyanya unaambia mtu ni tatu mbao akikwambia uh, niekeza mia una make sure umeficha nyanya moja ama mbili badala ya kumuongeza kama we ni mechanic umeletewa gari utengeneze unangoa mafla ya client alafu unasema sio wewe whoever you are i mean 
kama wewe ni mtu broka wa mashamba na unauzia mtu shamba yenye unajua haina taito na unajua iko na kesi lakini haumwambi kama iko na kesi it means ukifanya hiyo biashara yako ya property na ufike mahali usucceed ukwe mbunge we are expecting very bad leadership so we need to check our society values and ask ourselves what do we believe in and uh, um what are our societal values that's something we need to interrogate because as long as we have bad values we'll always have bad leaders because leaders are a reflection of who we are lakini ile kitu inanifurahisha na inanipatia hope na ndo nasema ninaamini itabadilika ni wa Kenya wameanza kubadilisha mwenendo sana there is a lot of change happening on the ground me i travel across the country i even now I'm far away from Nairobi and um, where i am I interact with the locals i talk to them i spare some time and have conversations with people in market centers and people are changing people are really really changing how they think and people are impatient uh, one of the things i've realized is uh what when you to ambia wangoje paka 2027 they sound very very impatient wanashindwa eh tutaumia hivi paka 2027 so kenyans are very angry and very impatient so i'm not sure whether this government will actually get to 2027 what i'm sure is that um, william ruto is not going to leave power easily he already knows he has made many mistakes therefore he may not want an election and if there is an election he might want to ensure that that election he has no opponent so that uh, he wins by probably 98% the way it happens in rwanda so we are bracing for very dangerous times ahead um The other thing is that um don't have jobs na vile hawana kazi wanahitaji wakule na waishi na wavai so criminal gangs coming up because of people because of you know some criminal elements being able to use the youth because the youth are available for use because they don't have jobs they are not gainfully employed so because they are available for use we could be seeing the rise of very serious criminal gangs and we are in haiti trying to save haiti but i think we might uh, we might head that haiti way unless you know the government comes up with a plan to give youths jobs because right now there is no hope hakuna hope ya youths kupata jobs and that's the truth and and it really breaks people's hearts so there is hope for change in kenya but hope for jobs for the youth sioni because the policies i see from government they are not serious policies that will you know give youth employment most businesses are closing so even the youth who already have jobs we are going to lose them kwa hivyo kama wa kenya tuamke tugutuke kila mtu afanye chenye anaweza this is something i always say in all my messages whenever i'm speaking to kenyans i always tell them guys hii kazi si yangu peke yangu najua mimi morara sometimes i fight until i get confused paka sengine mimi mwenyewe nachanganyikiwa ama nachoka um but kupumzika ni mbinguni i promise you to remain very firm and a uh, person of integrity i promise that i'll never be bought or compromised that's a promise i'm giving to all of you um because actually even the history and the background of where i come from sisi si watu wa kununuliwa we are very firm with our principles but what i can ask the rest of you kenyans is you know do what you can do for the diaspora you know the most you can do is make sure as your people at home wana waitisha pesa for this and that you attach condition the same way us ikitupea pesa we ina attach conditions to it attach conditions tell them we need change in kenya you now talk to your families back at home talk in whatsapp groups for those who are providing funding for activities in kenya not just for me there are many many people doing beautiful you know strong things like Akio Mtata is doing many court cases he needs support of course printing papers and you know even hiring lawyers for research support these activities send your 10 20 30 dollars or, or if you have God has blessed you with more you can give if you are here in Kenya make sure you participate use either the skill that you have or the knowledge that you have you are an IT guy or you are a musician or an actor make sure you use that talents or skill that God has given you or that you learned in school to effect change kwa hivyo usijione kama mdogo na usijibiliki with your little you know circle or with your little influence there's a lot that you can do otherwise i wish you well 
muwe na weekend njema na wapenda na wajali please don't forget me in your prayers